So the Nitroc is finally out and he is exactly what we thought. He is going to be one of the best marksman pet in the game. Also, there is two brand new city skin that have been added to the game and I'll let you know exactly how to get them. Hey everyone, Zora is here and today we're going to be talking about the beautiful Nitroc pet that was just added to the game. Now, I haven't managed to capture one with a skill, but you can see that the skill right here called Ravage is going to be the Rage skill for the Nitroc. And it is going to be what we thought it is going to be for Marksmen, specifically Sindrion and Frigar, who are both heroes that are built around auto attack damage as well as crit, uh, which is exactly what this pet is for. So this is going to be the Marksman pet for almost all situation except for Kinara and Nico who are defense break build which is still going to be most likely uh, the uh, white rock which has the defense break spell so this night rock is going to take front stage uh, for the crit damage auto attack builds that is currently the meta for archers for pve and for pvp this gives uh, attack crit rate for seven seconds uh, determined by luck so this would obviously go much higher once i had a pet that's legendary and stuff like that and there's a percentage chance 30 percent uh, right now to deal additional damage with normal attacks uh, so you know Sindrin already has extra attacks with his rage kill and fregar also does stuff like based on attacking auto attacking and then sometimes critting and doing extra effects uh, so this works just perfectly into them not only does it add extra damage it adds crit rate which is exactly what these heroes want uh, so obviously this is going to be uh, one of the best option if you have a marksman account you will need to go hunt for a night rock that has this ability with a star or two would be obviously better than no stars but this ability itself is going to be what is all about for the marksman heroes and it is going to be Sindrin's new best friend for sure now super ravage is going to be the skill that goes with it uh, it makes it so that there's an additional chance to trigger these will also obviously go higher and it is interesting to know that they are both lock skills so you will want a pet with the highest lock possible uh, you will want you know the lock here to be at s uh, for example something like this also speaking of which uh, you can now see when you click on your abilities that you are seeing the real numbers the real damage factor is now uh, shown basically this is dependent on the intelligence so having a very high intelligence make my skill very very powerful 147 damage factor for a warped is actually very high because uh you know their skills as heroes are sometimes a thousand two hundred sometimes a thousand four hundred so this is basically like a ten percent sometimes maybe a little bit more 15 percent this is also aoe two legions uh you know this increases the damage as well uh there is just you know a lot of numbers here nine percent crit rate uh this is really high these are two percent crit rate as well uh, you can just see that the numbers have all been reflective of now what is going to be boosted with the attributes so it gives you a much better idea when you're looking around at your pets uh, at what's good what's not good uh, how the damage factor really looks like and how strong uh, it is when you have the right stat to go with the pet now next uh, if we come here you will see that there is two new city skins that have been added this is obviously the big city skin for the well event but these two are right here they are not shown exactly how to get them but it is shown here that the titan's legacy for season two uh, will let you get it and then this is the titan's legacy for season one so the titan's legacy is basically when you come here uh this thing when you do your daily quest, you know, uh, this reward here. Now, obviously, Titans Legacy has ended because we are in between seasons. Uh, but this is where you're going to get it. Every season, you get like a legendary artifact as a reward here. Uh, now, it's going to be these city skin also, maybe instead. I don't know exactly. Uh, but obviously, season one is way in the past. And season two is literally just ended a few days ago. So from what I have read, these skins will be given to people who have done this already. Uh, and then for new players starting the game, it will just be earned over the seasons the same way as it was going to be uh, meant to. Now, these are pretty decent skin, actually. So the only one we have right now is Cavalry Unique Attack and Marksman Unit HP. Uh, so these are both decent skin, of course. But uh, these ones give Marksman Attack as well as this one gives Magic Unique Attack. So those are two extra skins that will have a very good place in the game. I would love to have the Magic Attack because right now we don't have anything that boosts Magic. And the marksman attack reducing the infantry is going to be also pretty decent because infantry is one of those that most people don't play. 
Uh, so this will have almost no malice for most people. So pretty nice to see uh, new skins being added to the game. And I'm guessing every season there's going to be one uh, in the uh, Titans Legacy that will be basically an epic skin for most players to have and to have a bit of diversity in the game. Now, the new artifact, I talked about it in my video yesterday. It is, I think, going to be one of the most overpowered PvP and PvE infantry artifact in the entire game, especially on T5. Uh, it is absolutely insane how strong it is. Now, everything in green might be things that get boosted uh, when you level up the artifact itself. So it's hard to know exactly how good it's going to get. But in any situation, gaining 600 rage point on your infantry is amazing. Five enemy are taunted for three seconds while your alliance demolishes them. Uh, so again, amazing. Uh, shelter determination for 30 seconds, which is very long. 15% defense for 30 seconds. And normal attack damage minus five for 30 seconds. Uh, if these go up with the level of the artifact, this would be even more broken. 30 seconds is an extremely long time to have a such a powerful buff additionally 10 percent more counter-attack damage to your infantry uh, so this is obviously meant for the new heroes they are all about counter-attack and everything damage wise it is going to be incredibly interesting to see uh, even on any other heroes uh, madeline and tia and garwood this is still going to be very very powerful it will offer very powerful defensives and if you have t5 going around taunting enemy mages and archers while your alliance is literally nuking them from afar uh, you will get very very good results uh, because obviously they will not be able to attack you back and they will just melt uh, this has potential for a tremendous amount of good plays and we will be very interested to see how it looks in the next season the way to get this artifact will obviously be at the beginning of the new season 2.5 uh, it will be uh, from a special event you will obviously have to spend some money or gems in order to have a chance to unlock this uh, but obviously if you're not a t5 well this is not really for you but for t5s this is going to be a must get for an infantry march now the last thing i want to talk about is the unlocking of skills now i made a video saying exactly how you should be doing pets in order to get the max uh, amount of value and the highest amount of chance not to replace your good abilities when you're putting in new skills but they are going to make it so that when you have uh, basically a locked skill you'll be able to just basically sacrifice cheap cards or buy the 39 uh, coin ones over and over here until you are going to uh, unlock this skill and make it open so it really just goes like this uh, well i got it in the first time here so it has a chance of happening right away and you also have uh, an option of what you put in there but really this is going to just simply allow you to unlock all the slots first it is really important to unlock every skill here because then when you're going to put new skills that you actually want when they go and replace, they have a chance of replacing any of these, not just your talent when you have only a few skills. So the more of them are open, the better chances for you to get the skill not replacing the stuff that you don't want to replace. Now here, it doesn't let you choose. If you prioritize already own card, it will basically put the cards that you own to try and unlock this skill. And it goes by percentage. So, you know, this is 2%, this is 4%. And these are all low cost cards that I have in my inventory. You can go for quite a while. It will eventually just happen. The percentage doesn't have to reach 100. The one thing, though, is that this is going to be putting uh, skills that you own, but you don't really, you know, want physical hero on, let's say, a mage. Uh, and then if you don't do own, it will just basically choose for you. It doesn't let you kind of choose which one to put here instead, uh, which is a little bit weird. Uh, a way to go around that will be to simply go here and then you click like zero stars and let's say you know you want to add this one uh in your pet well you can buy like you know a half a dozen of those and then when you go back to add skills on like any pet well you are going to prioritize the ones you own and you see these are the ones i just bought uh, so if it was these that i wanted to put on this pet well you just do this until it goes in and there we go uh, so this is going to be the way it works uh, obviously it's not optimal but it's nicer way of unlocking all the slots before committing to adding skills that you actually want on these pets so hopefully you enjoy all these new changes and look forward to the new season with all this new stuff coming uh, the night rock is obviously going to be a great priority for people who have archers um, you will want to go and find one with a skill with a talent and hopefully with stars on the talent uh, obviously being one of the uh, best pet for the current best heroes in the meta which is Sindri and Fregar. I'm soon going to make a warped video where I tell you exactly which warpets are best for all the heroes so make sure to subscribe for this content 
as well as if there's anything else you've noticed in this patch that i haven't mentioned make sure to comment below and we'll talk about it in the next video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time